this year, more than two-thirds of government spending has been used to improve Chinese people's livelihoods, whether it's housing guarantees, health services, even old-age pensions. In Huai'an City, in Jiangsu Province, the local government there has helped as many as 8,000 people sort out their retirement incomes. Yang Xiaoting has the details. The company where Li Feng and Zhao Meixia used to work went bankrupt in 2003, along with their old age pension. We have to pay 3,000 RMB for old age and health insurances every year. But we don't have stable jobs. We can't afford that much. But if they can't pay their insurance, how will they manage when they retire? They can only count on the minimum assurance given by the government, which is about 400 RMB per month. But if they can get their insurance renewed, they may get the average pension of 1,300 RMB per month. There are about 40,000 people in Huai'an in the same situation. In 2009, a special financial aid loan guarantee program was set up, with the local government providing an initial fund of 30 million yuan. It enables people to pay their insurance from bank loans at a reduced rate of interest. With the help of the project, the couple can pay for their insurance with bank loans. Zhao Meixia retired last year at the legal retirement age and now she can get her pension every month. From her bank book, we can see that around 1,200 yuan is paid in and 300 yuan is deducted every month. The 1,200 yuan is Zhao Meixia's retirement pension, and the 300 yuan she pays out is the insurance loan she has to pay back to the bank. We are quite relieved that we can have an easier retirement now. Around 51 million yuan has been lent to 8,000 people in Huai'an this year to solve their insurance problems, and 311 have retired and are now able to get their pensions every month. Yang Xiaoting, CCTV.